Welcome back to the channel. Today we have Reem CRX again. We're gonna do some fuel system repairs, fix something that was done a little less than the way I would have done it. We'll just leave it at that. We have some uh, new power adders to go on here as well. And might be introducing the new project to the channel at the end of this video. It is all wheel drive, it is turbo, and it's something different. So let's get into the CRX now. So this is what we're replacing here. This stainless steel braided line, it just started leaking. So it looks like the rubber inside of the stainless steel finally gave out, or this probably wasn't fuel grade to begin with. Um, under pressure, it leaks. Right now it's not gonna do it because there's no pressure in the line. And I'm just gonna keep it that way because don't feel like getting covered in fuel today. And let's take a look on the inside. The inside look, uh, less than ideal, but we'll probably be doing AM lines with a fuel, like with a full uh, fuel system tuck later on. This is kind of like a band aid fix for another band aid fix. We should probably got stitches in the first place, but this will work for now and get us until where it's not uh, below freezing every day. All right, so other camera died. We'll use dropping the tank and everything. So here's where we are got the tank on the jack. The straps actually came out without breaking. Got the old line out. So much fuel pulled out of it, poured out of it, excuse me. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at where the line's routed. Uh, okay, so they're just right there. Just clamped on to the factory bits. Let's focus. All right. Just clamped onto the factory bits, it looks like, and pretty much what we're gonna do, we're just gonna copy how this was done. Just with uh, rubber E85 friendly hoses that probably won't burst like the stainless steel. I'm pretty sure this is, this is like a Home Depot or houseware type stainless steel line for like the water faucets and stuff. But sometimes you gotta make do with what you got. So let's uh, swap these out for actual fuel hose. It's all crusty underneath there. It's definitely an EF in New England. All right, so we pretty much got the fuel line ran how we want. Um, we just need some clamps. We're gonna do a part store run. In the meantime, gonna get started on the intake manifold up front. So we'll see you up there. So we got the old one out, old throttle bodies out. Uh, let's see what we look like inside. We got to keep the IAC in the same place. We'll just put it back how it was. The gasket this looks ever so disgusting. Is that clogging up in there? No. All right, so let's get the new stuff in. Throw it on there. Now just hucking into the neighbor's yard. They'll never know. Yeah, right. No, that's <laughs> no I know, right? That's <laughs> All right, so we got the Skunk 2 intake manifold with the AEM rail, along with the matching throttle body. 
I think they're both 70 millimeter, 68. We got the new injectors on that we replaced last time around. I'm gonna pop the new IAC on. It looks like it has a new map, but don't know the condition of it. Gonna swap it from the throttle body that was in here. And let's throw her in the car and see how it looks. The uh, thermal gaskets on here to help with heat soak. Hopefully it's not too thick where it pushes the manifold off and it doesn't seal, but it looks good. So there's six on the bottom, six on top? Uh, I think it's five and six. Oh, five on the bottom? I love this, this swivel extension. For real. All right, that's all of them. Nah, none of this. The middle one is nowhere to be found. I guess we can try it and see what it's like. Right. You know, throw the battery in, pressurize the fuel system. All right. Test that out. I had this going this whole time. Yeah, you can see the moon's out already. Yeah. Yeah. So we got the intake manifold on. We finished the uh, lines for the fuel tank. It's weird. Out of reflex, I want to say fuel cell. It's not a fuel cell, it's a fuel tank. Um, put the little radiator cap back on. We got it filled up. I'm not gonna go ahead and start it because we got to make a new battery cable. Um, there's a voltage drop. And it, I'm pretty sure it's these old battery cables. They're starting to like corrode and they're very brittle. So we're gonna replace those probably another day. Well, we'll do those another day. It's starting to get really cold out. And we're gonna get out of here for today. Um, I don't think we're going to try starting it. It's going to deal with it another day. So I think we're just going to do the new project reveal, its own video altogether. And then we'll just go, go from there. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.